right, we are starting today here off at the beach. I don't know if you guys have seen in the news, but around this area in Florida, there have been hailstorms, big freaking crazy thunderstorms, golf ball hail, like crazy stuff happening. And today it is supposed to storm like that in probably two to three hours. Hopefully we don't get hailed on. As you can probably hear, it's a little bit windy, but today is gonna to be pretty interesting, man. We have a few goals in mind. First of all, I would love to bring home a juicy, big old flat flounder that we know are around here. I love these fish, I love to catch them, definitely love to eat them. So we picked up some stuff from the tackle shop. We got some live bait, I'll show you that here in a second. But also at the tackle shop, so I went the other day, right? This guy was like, dude, why have you, why have you never tried this? I've honestly never even really heard of these things, but this right here is a flounder rig. Basically it's a hook that has a weight on it and it kind of like is freely moving. I don't know, it's supposed to be able to fish the bottom and be effective for flounder. I have just never, I've never really even heard of that. I might have been missing out. So we're gonna try those rigs. We're gonna try a few different things. And on the way over here, I found something. As I told y'all, man, I am officially becoming the shark tooth master. Look, at that's a sharp tooth. It has been like storming and that's apparently the best times like after it storms to find some good teeth. So we'll, we'll look for some of those. But yeah, man, let's not waste any time. The tide is incoming. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully you can get something going on here before it starts uh, hailing on us. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. All right, so here's a better look at the rig. It's just kind of exactly what you sort of think it would be. Wait, oh, I didn't, I, hold on. Jeez, loud seagull. I tied that to the wrong part. <laughs> okay, so I believe what you want to do is tie to the weight. I tied it to the hook slash weight. So like that, okay. We're learning here. Okay, yep, there we go. So basically we're tied to the weight and then this kind of drags around and then the minnow can swim. Kind of interesting. Let's get in here. So we stopped at the towel shop, I said, as always, got some juicy, old, thick. Oh, we got some big ones in here. Mud minnows. Fuck this dude through the mouth like that. All right. We're going to start to the right side here of this little jetty. We're going to be bopping around today. Last time we were here, it was outgoing tide, and this was the spot. I believe the tide is incoming, but whoa. I almost hit a bird. <laughs> we'll give us a shot over here, and then we'll kind of go to the left. Whoa. I thought that was a tooth right there. All right. Let's see what we could do. Basically, the guy at the taco shop said to just kind of slowly drag it. Slowly drag it. From my understanding, I mean, there could be a bunch of fish out here, but if there's a flounder around and you kind of drag this, especially the live juicy minnow right by its face, these things are pretty aggressive and they will come and munch it so that's kind of the goal i think come on anybody here i mean even if the tide is the other way i can't imagine not being a freaking big old flatty over here all right we'll get one more cast over here and then we'll kind of switch it up in the meantime any shark teeth look at this this is beautiful looking i actually found two today I showed you guys that big one, and then like right after that, I found a smaller one. If we're not the freaking flounder masters, we're surely becoming the shark tooth masters. Oh my. <laughs> Bro, I just found the smallest baby shark tooth in the world. Look at that, can you see that? Oh, almost dropped it. It's just cool that you could do it while fishing, I know. Some of you guys might not care about the teeth. The teeth are just cool to me. I think one day, I'm gonna put it over here. I just have my wallet sitting here like a genius fisherman. Got some shark teeth on it. One day, I think my goal, right, it'd be so cool. Eventually we're gonna get a house, eventually. When they're not like a billion dollars and you know, the market and just, not today, but one day we'll get a house. I think it would be so freaking sick to have like a table. Have you guys ever seen people do that epoxy stuff? Where like you put stuff down and then it's like clear epoxy and then uh hello it's like a game warden right there on a four by four it's it basically looks like glass and then all my shark teeth are just under it so you could see all of them on the table oh that'd be so sick
You know, something else we have going for us too is that everybody says fish are supposed to eat better and bite like right before a storm. So we're not too far away from a big old freaking storm, right? Can I stand on this? Kinda. All right. Come on, fish. Storm is a brewing. It's something to do, I think, with their swim bladders. They deflate, maybe, with a low pressure system. If there's any scientists, let me know, and then it kind of makes them more hungry or something. That's probably not accurate. Don't listen to my science. I gotta get off here, bro. I'm about to destroy my foot even more. I got fish. There we go. There we go. On this side of the, oh, yep. <laughs> well, I guess that's where you should be, right? First fish of the freaking day. That is not a keeper. That, oh, just launched my minnow too. Thank you for that, buddy. All right, well, let's see if I can get a hold on this guy. First fish of the day. That's a beautiful little flounder. That is this, this little baby pipsqueak. Yeah back in there pancake they're so cool though every time you see it looks like they're from a different planet really all right what was interesting is i didn't really cast that exactly next to the rocks so it was kind of out like this more huh seems like the rig is kind of working Let's see if we can get some more the wind is really picking up though man I'm just happy we got bit before it really starts dumping. All right, we're going mobile. Let me put this down real quick. So these are the shark teeth that we found so far today. This is that big one I showed you, and that is just another baby one. Again. Super cool one day, maybe table. All right, as I said, the tide's coming in, so we're gonna put the bag, probably, hopefully it won't get swept away up here. Ah, we're gonna take the bucket with us. Sick. It's funny, cause like every time I go to this beach, there's always people shark teeth hunting. So cool. Lighting looks crazy. These big old storm clouds rolling across, but the sun's coming out. Look how, ooh, looks good when that sun's out. Come on. We're just working this everywhere. There's not a chance that we don't just put this right in front of one of their faces, right? Oh, I don't like that. It's starting to mini drizzle. We've been out here for a little while. Can't complain too much. I mean, we got a bite. We got some teeth. Oh gosh, starting to pick up. As long as it's like, like torrential downpouring, we're good. And I mean, I would stay out here as... I thought that was a bite. I would stay out here as long as I could, even if it was raining, if it wasn't lightning and stuff, but... We got camera equipment, so that is uh, something to keep an eye out on.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Come here. Yes. Oh yeah, that's the freaking keeper right there. Dude, that was so lucky. I felt that thump. I was just dragging it as we were walking, right? I'm recording, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's go. I think that's a keeper. I literally found a shark tooth. Let me see if I could show you it. It's in my pocket. I'll show you later. Oh my gosh, this thing is like so close to keeping. It's like a hair off. We're gonna throw him back. There he goes. Ah, it's so close, dude. That was so cool. Like really right when I found that shark tooth and I found another one right by my bag. Hands are a little slimy. All right. Ooh, all right. Well, second fish of the day. Sun's shining. Maybe this will get things to start turning on. Oh, I just got bit again, dude. I got a fish. We literally just, is this a keeper? Wait a second. Do not come off, please. We've had some bad luck with things popping off. Dude, this might be it. No, yes. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we found them. Oh gosh, they're such cool fish though. Yeah, that's probably like 13 inches. Get that back. <laughs> yeah, I think we found the spot. There must be like a hole or something. That's a good one. Oh my God, wait, what the heck? What was that? That was jumping. That was not a... I was thinking maybe bluefish. Did bluefish jump like that though? Oh. I feel like something bit me, but, oh, there we go. They're not biting it. They're almost just like running through the line. Oh my God, oh my God, what is that, dude? Is that a tarpon? Dude, I think this is a freaking tarpon. I think I got a freaking tarpon off the beach. Oh my gosh, oh my God. Oh my God, oh, wait, what is that? Was that just a huge ladyfish? Dude, I think that's a ladyfish. All right, okay, it fell off. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Oh my gosh, you guys didn't even get a good look at that. Well, pretty sure that was a ladyfish. I will let you know right here, because I got a good look at that. I hope you guys did too. Probably not though. Oh, there we go. Is that another one of those? It's really running at me. What the heck is this? Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, these things are fun. Oh yeah, oh, and they came off in the surf. Dude, imagine if that was a tarpon that came off right there. Whew. All right, well, after a while of not really catching too much of anything these dudes are here now I can see yeah how they could be annoying if like I'm out here just trying to catch flounder and then it's just boom 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 but 
We'll see. It's a fun fight, dude. I mean, they fight better than the flounder. I'll say that. What the heck is this? Hello? Do I got a freaking octopus or something? Oh, now it's swimming. Okay, now it's really swimming. No, 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 no. Oh, no, gosh. That's not, that's not what we want. Just wondering, dude. I, oh, I think this is a big ray, dude. Out of anything that could get unhooked. Oh, look at that. Whoa. What kind of ray is that? Oh my god, it's digging. Mm. I haven't caught anything that fought this hard in a long time. Oh my god. There he is. I don't want to take him too far up. Oh. Oh, I just snagged him barely. All right, come here. Oh my gosh. Well, there you go. If anybody can identify that, I don't know what exactly we got here. Oh, chill, dude. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, flap. Flap, buddy, flap. Get back there. You're not the pancake I was after. All right, there it goes. Come on, a little bit more flap. Boom. Okay, I did not want that in him. Oh, new species added to the Pokedex. I have no clue if you guys could let me know down in the comment section below. Especially with this thing though, I did not want that in him, man. With the weight. See, did that bend our hook at all? Yeah, a little bit. What just happened? <laughs> I'm like shaking. Again, you guys, I'm still pretty new to this kind of beach fishing and looking to something like that. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm just happy they got away, too. All right, y'all, that was a super fun day of fishing. Again, you never know what the heck is gonna happen when you go out there. All I gotta say, man, is thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. We're gonna be doing some more beach exploring and different places and stuff, so just get ready, man. I appreciate y'all for all the support. Let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.